been in Seoul for about a week now. We've been loving the public transportation and food. The people have also been very welcoming and kind. We're starting out today by heading over to Hongdae Street for the very first time. But before we go, we needed to make a stop at Kuriko's Cafe, which is a Kiki's Delivery Service themed cafe nearby. Kiki's Delivery Service is one of our favorite Ghibli movies, so we knew we needed to check out this cafe while we were in the area. We headed up to the hidden rooftop and enjoyed our coffee outside, but the inside is absolutely adorable too. We made it to the Kuriko Cafe, and it's adorable. This is the cutest cafe I've ever been to. Look, it even has a little Gigi in the ice. <laughs> He's on this clip too. <laughs> Truly, they go all out. And this rooftop deck is like pretty awesome too. Okay, where are we? Hongdae Street. Hongdae Street. It's like a famous shopping street. It's already popping. I love this. Um, look at this like super, super mm, Yeah, I like the lights on it too. I think it's gonna be like a lot of shopping stuff. I think it's like yeah, it's like busking and music and all it's sorts a little of fun funny because we don't really shop because <laughs> we travel so late, but we still walk around on the shopping. Area. It's fun to see. Yeah, it's neat to see all the and that's where all the, the like drinks and food is and stuff. So. Yeah, and sometimes you know you need one piece of clothing, so you get to make a decision. You know, you have to look at a thousand different shirts and then pick one of them to replace one shirt that you have that has a stain on it or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go get in the uh, in the Kong fist. Do you want me to? I do want you to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was everything I hoped it could have been. <laughs> H&M girl. <laughs> Hyundai Street was such a blast. We really enjoyed seeing all the street performers here. Why are you recording me? Because you're cute. Oh, thank you. The next morning, we headed over to Gyeongbukgam Palace to see the palace grounds and the changing of the guard ceremony. We unfortunately don't speak Korean, but I want to assure English speakers watching this video that traveling to Korea is not difficult. A lot of the people here know English and are overall very friendly. Most of the signs around have English on them. Truthfully, if you don't know the language and are having trouble communicating, just be polite and apologetic and use your phone to translate if you need. We use Google Translate all the time while traveling. Changing of the guard ceremony. Pretty cool, actually. I thought the music was like a little ominous yeah. that they were playing, um, but I really dug the drums and the gong that they would play and then oh. kind of silence. The first time the drum went off, I was literally like a foot from it <laughs> and I jumped so hard. <laughs> there's like little drums that people are carrying and playing and then there's like a gigantic drum that just sits there um, that one dude just like absolutely slams into. Yeah. It's super loud. <laughs> um, but yeah, this palace seems pretty awesome so far. It's very well done. I heard somebody talking about how a lot of it had to be like reconstructed because uh, at one point it was kind of burned down. It's a bummer. Yeah. It's very beautiful. I can't imagine living in a place like this. This is uh, pretty empty for a pretty big tourist attraction. I mean, I guess it is a Thursday. It is a Thursday. I think we're also just used to what it was like in Japan. 
Gosh, a lot of cars. Japan was crowded. Um, I saw some pictures from like Golden Week, which is like a week I think a lot of people have off in Japan. And it was like, it was literally like everything looked like that day where we couldn't even walk in the park. Because it was just literally shoulder to shoulder, could not move. Anxiety inducing. <laughs> but this isn't so bad. If you came on a weekend, it might be busier, but... Yeah, I mean, I think we're in a bit of an off-season, but... Yeah, um, but this is really not crowded. Yeah, and every, all of these buildings are magnificent. Like, just the amount of detail. Oh, I think these are, like, how you close it. You, like, drop down the door and then it swings out, and that's how you close this space. That's kind of wild. That is an intricate door system. But I kind of dig it. They're nice and out of the way though. Hey. Dibs, this is where I would live. Finally, we're heading over to Bookcham Village and we're immediately jealous of all the people who get to live here. It's truly a beautiful area. You're a very beautiful door. <laughs> Walk through me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this area is super nice, though. I love that for them, but I love it more for me. Damn. Daniel, back at it again with the two poor for a house. <laughs> we almost stayed in this area, but it was super expensive for the month. Understandably so. My cute wife. Huh? <laughs> My short wife. Ah. Lots of cafes, lots of art exhibits. Very cute. Very chill. Very chill area. Look at this view. Show them through that. And show them through the thing. So beautiful. Mad jealous of the people who have the rooftop views here. Why are you jealous? You're experiencing it right now. I guess that's true. What's the point in jealousy? Look at all these people trying to get photos here. <laughs> This is it. This is the spot to take the photos. And that is true. We just had a good photo. We'll put it on the screen. Um, taken by a woman just one little street over. I think it might be a little more worth it. <laughs> Sorry, I love. We'll get that tan back one day. <laughs> Not that I had much of one, but now I'm a ghost man. Um, we'll get you one of the dresses and we'll have you walk around here kind of like a spooky spirit. <laughs> I shouldn't be under the spooky spirit idea, but I am. <laughs> I actually, um, I'm basically just a Scooby-Doo villain. I'd love to just like go places, prank the lo locals. <laughs> Just be spooky, eventually get caught, and they like pull the mask off you. It's like, ah, oh, I would've got away with it too if it weren't for you meddling policemen. I can't wear a mask, I'd be too scared of myself. Oh, that's a good point. What if you were in a costume? Maybe you need to get into a costume. To get up where my fear. Yeah, I feel like this comes up on the vlog way too often. <laughs> I know, it's not that big of a fear for me. Like, it's not like a daily thing we deal with. Yeah, I guess it's just for often in places where there are people in costumes somehow. Yeah. It's like not a thing you deal with on a daily life, but when you travel to touristy spots, it happens more often than you would think. I like the little hippos. We got you baited into the photo booth area. So do what Michaela made you do. <laughs> that was literally your idea. Oh, <laughs> what you do. There's a lot of settings on this machine that's not in English. We're just kind of working our way through. Uh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's perfect. <laughs> oh 
love it. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you, honey. I love you too. Thank you so much for watching and exploring Seoul with us for the first time. We'd love to know your thoughts on Seoul as well as the things we chose to do while we're here. Please leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Is this like seriously buff Mother Mary? It's a painful word to say. Crawful. It's awful to say crawful. I also can't imagine. You're my queen, my love. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave us a comment. As always, we love hearing from you. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on our future travels.